welcome China again, Jeremy Lin. Thank you. And, uh, you know, the, in the new season, you get, give us the biggest impression is your hairstyle. So <laughs> how do you evaluate, how, how do you think about the, your hairstyle? Uh, you know, my current hairstyle, uh, I'm not too happy about, um, but uh, I have to grow it out. So um, me and um, six of my other family and friends uh, decided we're going to do something together. And, um, you know, it should be, uh, we should be ready by next year's annual Asia trip when I come with Adidas and Tag. So you do it together with your family? Uh, yeah, so like my little brother, my cousin, my trainer, um, my agent. Uh, few, there's, a, there's, the, there's seven of us total. They do uh, the same hairstyle? We are going to eventually. So if you guys see my little brother right now, his hair is also pretty. Uh, the middle phase is very not good so that's what we're dealing with right now you know uh we chinese have a, a phrase that means start from your head head that means uh start completely yeah, yeah, yeah. is there anything with this uh no no um it was just for fun yeah okay so uh my question is why hornets i think in the summer you have more than one choices so why choose this team um, the biggest thing for me was that the coach, um, uh, f I felt like I would fit in really well with this team and the coach uh, really wanted me and um, Coach Clifford really understood my game and so uh, he kind of knew um, already where and how he wanted to use me. Uh, I thought that was really important. And then I think for me just uh, I wanted to find the best fit, the best team with the best fit. Um, what you're looking at the style of play and things like that. Um, and, and I just felt like Charlotte was a, was a great choice for me. Have you talked with Michael Jordan after you came to Charlotte? Uh, I met him, yeah. Um, but you know, we're—he's really, really busy, so he's not around that all that often. But I've had a—you know—I said hi to him and met him and stuff. Uh, teach you some experience? Oh uh, no, no, he doesn't do much teaching. Um, yeah, he—he he leaves that to the coaches. I saw that you released the Link Sanity Two on the YouTube, right? Oh, the oh, right, 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 the YouTube video. Yeah. Are you giving to the second Link Sanity on Sha in Charlotte? Uh, well, the, I guess the premise of the video was just talking about like redefining success and what that means. Um, you know, obviously I love to have a great year and I feel like, you know, um, I feel like the last three years I haven't been able to, I haven't played up to my full potential. And so uh, hopefully at some point, I, you know, I will be able to and, and, you know, no better place to do that than in Charlotte. How is your training goes in the summer? Uh, which skills do you practice the most? Uh, I changed my shot a little bit, um, and then yeah, and then worked on some defense, some floaters, some ball handling. Uh, you you released a picture with the professor Grayson. Right, right, right. Did you learn something from him? Yeah, just in terms of reading people's feet and um, uh, making moves and how to be more deceptive, and so uh, definitely learned from him, and it was it was a good experience. So from Los Angeles all the way to the Charlotte, uh, do you adapt the new city, the lifestyle? Um, yeah, I, you know, um, the, like right before we left for China, I had just gotten all my stuff. Um, so, you know, my, my, the movers came a little late, so um, I got my bed and my TV and everything. And so I just set it up. So when I get home, you know, I'll have it all set up. But. Uh, the first, you know, few weeks that I've been in Charlotte just haven't really been able to transition all the way because I didn't have most of my clothes or whatever, my shoes in, in, in bed, um, but now I do. Okay. Uh, so how's your relationship with uh, Walker? It's good. It's good. We've hung out uh, multiple times. He helped me in the YouTube video, uh, how to fit into the NBA as well. And so I look forward to playing with him. What did you exactly did a coach coach say to you when he persuaded you to the uh, Charlotte? Uh, did he promise you the time on the court? Uh, he told me roughly how much I would be playing, um, and he said that's obviously subject to change. He can't guarantee anything, but the biggest thing is uh, actually it, it wasn't just one thing. We we had very long discussions and very long conversations, and that was really important to me. Um, and the things that he talked about, the culture and what he believes in and um, how to win games in the NBA and what he felt like I could be as a player, I thought those were all really important. So uh, you have already played two preceding games and you played extremely well in the first preceding game. So how, 
how did you think about uh, your role in the new team? Um, you know, we're still trying a lot of different things. I mean, the biggest thing is it is preseason. And so what it looks like now won't be what it's going to look like in the regular season. We're just trying lots of different lineups and um, every game, every, you know, every matchup, we're going to do something different just to see how it works. And so, um, you know, it's still up in the air, but so far, so good. OK, so my last question, you know, uh, uh, last night I saw some of your big fans. They followed you from the airport all the way to the hotel you live. Yeah, they are the typical fans of you in China. So do you want uh, do you want to share something with your Chinese fans in Chinese? Sure, sure. Uh, uh, just uh, thank you for your fans. Uh,